What's up, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome to Because Reasons, the show where I look at games for a variety of reasons, and this one being that the publisher sent me a copy, a code of this beta, full disclosure. But with that disclosure out of the way, uh, spoiler, this is a game I would have wanted to play anyway. It is a top-down shooter from the folks who brought you Crimson Land, and it is cyberpunk, and it is a roguelike. And I'm like, yes, yes, yes. No, I didn't want that to happen. I don't want to spoil it. Uh, as usual, my PC capture, not the best, because my PC, not the best. So hopefully this will look okay in the end product. But I'm going to jump in here and show you what Neon Chrome is all about. Uh, the game's out on PC in about a month, is my understanding. Uh, and uh, I think eventually for consoles. But I haven't actually seen all those details. So, here we are. Uh, if, this, if this looks familiar, uh, then you've probably played Crimson Land, uh, which I played qu quite a bit of on the PC and on the Xbox One. Videos on this channel. Um, so, we're going to ignore this for right now and jump in here. Uh, this is... This this does follow the usual rogue light, roguelike type stuff, and we get to choose from a randomly uh, generated individual here. Uh, I'm going to go with this Cyber Psycho... Um, and it will give me that person, it will set a clock down at the bottom, and we'll head up here, so this will look very familiar, it is a top-down twin joystick shooter. And we're gonna start in the tower here, you can see there are 30 stages, uh, I'm assuming 5, 11, 16, 21, 29, and 30 are bosses, but haven't got that far yet, so... Uh, I played about 15 minutes and was like, you know what, I need to sit down and do a video now, and get my, my immediate thoughts on this, because, uh... This is fucking cool, and I'm all about it. I'm not a hacker. That's what I said. You're a nerd. No, I'm a hacker. Um, no, I'm, I'm not a hacker. So, uh, this game is very much in the vein of Crimson Land, except now, instead of just being in a giant open arena, there are tactics, there are strategies, there are different ways of dealing with these threats here as you climb this tower and attempt to escape uh, this place. And much like any good roguelite, or roguelike, uh, you wanna... It's, it's about two things. It's about threat assessment, and it's about situational awareness. Uh, and as someone who played an awful lot of these type of games, uh, those things are very familiar to me. Uh, so, having only played about 15-20 minutes of this one, and I made it about stage 5 or 6, um, I'm still learning what the different enemies are, what they do, what their attacks are, what their range is, uh, and that's important, uh, because that's gonna help you survive. So, the green circle around me is my health, and, uh, I can reload with, uh, X or B. I'm using an Xbox One controller here to play. Uh, haven't tried mouse and keyboard, but if you're playing a twin joystick shooter, you don't want to use mouse and keyboard, come on now. You want to use a controller. They're twin joystick shooters. Uh, get that. So we're getting credits here to spend uh, later on. I've got a special weapon here, which right now is this little mini heat-seeking missile. Um, the soldiers will shoot back. You got these little crab dudes that'll just charge at you. Oh wait, that's a loot thing. Um, so what's cool here is that there is a certain amount of environmental uh, destruct... Dest destructibility. So you see here, that wall's gone now. Um, and that, because it is procedurally generated, uh, even more helps helps the uh, replayability factor of it because uh, you can certainly mold your path uh, a little bit. This is a, those dudes will heat seek you, uh, but you can kind of dodge them at the last minute. There, there isn't any kind of a dodge roll mechanic that I've seen. Uh, I don't have a key for that door. So, like Doom, there, there are keys. Uh, that is a thing that is important in the old school game type stuff. I'm, I'm hoping that the, that, that the new Doom has keys, but, you know, that's, 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 that's out pretty soon. Um, so, do that. So, what you're looking for here is a green door. That's your, that's your exit vector that will get you to the next floor. So, uh, ideally you want to find that without getting hit too much. 
Uh, the health pickups seem pretty rare, which, you know, for a rogue like rogue light is important because you still want to have that amount of okay well you gotta be real careful because you might die uh i think the look is very striking i think the music is excellent uh oh shit i think i should i should pay attention when i'm talking and shooting at the same time uh definitely uh, a thing i should be doing uh so i can see myself playing a lot of this because it kind of it's scratching a lot of itches like as, as, much, as, as much as I like Crimson Land, you know, there was kind of a, a point where I, I kind of just, you know, had seen all there was to see and wasn't getting any better at it. Whereas this, I feel like, because of the procedural nature of it, uh, and because of the fact that I do like the aesthetic a lot more, um, that I will definitely be into this a bit longer. Um, and certainly... When the console version, uh, I guess if the console version, I, I would assume the, the console version uh, will come out. Uh, ex expect to see me bringing it over for, for Grim to look at on Perplexing Pixels. Uh, because I'm not sure that he'd enjoy it, but, you know, like most games, I'm willing to at least make him try it. Uh, and I think he might like this more than he liked Crimson Land in, in, in any event. Uh, but... I haven't really spent too much time trying to get him into the rogue light genre because he has no patience, whereas I have all the patience in the world. Am I hitting that? Alright, numbers are coming off it. I'll make it explode. There we go. So you can use that. I actually, I, sh I should have waited and then lured in the key master, which is a very, um, are you the gatekeeper? Are you the key master? There is no Dana, only Zool! Those guys have, have more health, and I'm just fucking it up by getting shot out here, but that's okay. And I have the key. Uh, there are some small things that I've n that I have noticed already that I think are pretty cool. Um, loot, loot. Wait, I got the key, but then all right, no, I, I want to leave yet. I, I I had that key. Um, so what was I gonna say? There, there are things, there are small details that I've noticed, like the enemy guards, if they, if they get shot a couple times and you don't kill them, will run away for a little bit, which is, you know, a nice detail. Um, so that was kind of not worth the trip, uh, and I don't actually know, I don't, that's what, loot. I haven't seen, or I haven't played enough to know if the keys, uh, carry over between floors or not, because it... Might have been wiser to keep that key if there wasn't going to be a whole lot of loot in that room, but that is the learning curve of any of this genre of game, is that you learn what to do and what not to do, uh, and certainly in the first, you know, where am I going? I'm lose my damn mind. Certainly in the first uh, 15 minutes or so uh, of playing, you're not going to know those things just yet, but hey, that's half the fun in these games, is figuring out just what it is that you should be doing or should not be doing. Um, and again, I'm hoping that was that was stage one. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm hoping that uh, this capture stuff works out because obviously on the PC is not usually good for me. Um, but I do what I can with what I have. Uh, but I will say on my end here, it looks all you know, it looks smooth. So. If there's a capture issue, that's, you know, going to be on my, unfortunately, old PC. Booster. And then we got piercing bullets. Uh, which, just right through that fucking door, which is great. I'm going to get that loot first before making things go boom. Right through the wall. Yep. I dig it. I dig it! Yeah! Macho man. Macho madness. Um... That guy has a shield, which is a problem for me. He wants to melee my ass. Now, we, we there, 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 there is a melee. I'm not very good with it. And you can see there, I, I lost a bunch of health there, uh, which is going to impact the rest of this run, which might not be much much longer uh, by the looks of things, which is okay, because, you know, you kind of get a taste for it. And then uh, what's nice is that because it is stage-based, you can finish a stage and then quit and come back later and be on that same stage. See, I'm used to playing Spelunky where you do your run and that, that's your fucking run. That, 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 that's kind of it, you know? 
Um, so, having the ability to, you know, spend some time playing, you know, five, six stages, and then, you know, being able to, to come back later is uh, super huge for me anyway, because that will allow me to present video content better anyway. Um, because certainly, uh, I have a I have a video series called RNG Slug, which some of you might or might not know about, that I look at games that are procedurally made in some form or fashion. That's gonna be bad. Oh, I wasted that. Shit balls. But yeah, the, the the whole vibe here is just really just uh, speaking volumes to me in terms of the kind of games that I like, and I am patiently. Oh, there's some health, but some lasers. That's a mm. like like most people. I am patiently waiting for that new CD Projekt Red game, Cyberpunk uh, 2077. Um, because that thing looks fucking bonkers, even though we haven't actually seen any gameplay yet. That CG trailer will look fucking bonkers. Um, so, anyway. Let's see if we can't sneak through. Oh, 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 no, I died. Okay, that's gonna do it for this run here. Neuralink lost. Uh, not a new record for me or anything. Let, let's actually get into the things that are in this once you get through here. So you got unlocks here that uh, you can start your new character. So like, if you get a gun you like, you can start a new character with that gun. Um, if you get, you know, um, there, 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 there are missions to complete. If there are other unlocks you want here, like laser pulse or micro missiles, you can start the character with, with those items for a fee. And you can see here I have 2320 uh, from having played like three times so far. Um, and then here you go. These are more things to increase... Um, out of the gate, you know, uh, or, you know, um, but here, my understanding is that these are just, hey, you can just do it, you know, overall, you're gonna get more health, you're gonna get more damage, you're gonna get more luck, more energy, more shots, that's just overall, so obviously, the incentive to keep playing is that you get more money from more runs and eventually get better and better and better and better, and that's kind of handled the way it's handled in games like Rogue Legacy, which, uh, people who are, you know, stalwarts of this genre, there's kind of a divide, and is a true roguelite roguelike a game that you only have all the stuff that you get in that one run, and that's it? Or is there a progression involved? And I kind of like both, so, uh, I don't have a problem either way if there's a progression involved or not. Uh, but certainly having a progression for people who aren't fans of the genre does help them continue playing it until they actually get those skills. Whereas a game like Spelunky, there's no real pro the, the progression in Spelunky is literally, did you get better at Spelunky? Are your skills better? Have you learned more? Uh, so there are kind of two thoughts on it. Anyway, this is, let me, uh, main, me main menu here. Uh, this is Neon Chrome. Uh, it'll be out on Steam in, uh, about a month, I'm told. Uh, this is the beta. I think it's pretty fucking fantastic. So yeah, uh, expect more videos in my RNG Slug series as soon as I get my fucking voice better. That'd be great. Uh, but until then, until next time, uh, I'm Attack Slug, and I'll see you next time, right here on this channel, and I'm out!